In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful, transparent, sticky header using Elementor Pro. This is the result that we're going to achieve. It is pretty easy and we just need to follow step by step and you're going to obtain the exact same results as I'm showing you right now. My name is Pascal and I'm a content creator, WordPress enthusiast, and I love to create tutorials about WordPress and Elementor, like the one that you're seeing right now. So. If you like this kind of content, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's dive in. We're going to recreate a transparent and sticky header like the one that you're seeing here on the top of the page. And uh, we're going to do it using Elementor Pro. So let's dive in. This is our starting point and we want this header here to be transparent and to be sticky in this page. The first thing we need to do now is to open the theme builder. So we go and open it. Now we go on header and we make sure to create another header that we will call transparent header. In my case, I have already created one, but I will show you the process step by step to, to do it from scratch. So we have our default header, which is created using the theme builder. By the way, if you didn't watch my full six hour tutorial about how to create an, a website with Elementor in 2025, go and watch it because I show you all this. I'll show you how to create a beautiful website like this one, step by step. And uh, it is perfect to create beautiful designs, uh, call to actions, dynamic uh, uh, displaying call to actions like this one, about pages, uh, blog posts. <laughs> yes, I show you everything and it is pretty much uh, everything you need to get started with Elementor in 2025. And so, yeah, go and check it out. Now we have to create this header. So we go to add new and we will call this header transparent header. I go and close here. I'll go and give it, give it a name to my header. It's gonna be transparent header. Since I already have one, I will call it version one. Okay, and uh, I will be sure here to assign an HTML tag header. Okay, there we are. Now we create our header. In my case, I will just copy and paste the elements that I have in my previous one. So I will add an, a template and we'll go to my templates. And I see that here I have my header, you see default header, and I can insert it directly. So basically we're using the same structure of our default header, but we're changing the design. So we're going to add a, trans uh, a background here, add a container. Before adding a transparent background, effectively, we need to go and style it. So to style it correctly, we go and uh, select the main container of our header and we go and add a classic background. In this case, I will just need to have a, a dark background. Since in my page where I want to apply my header, there is a dark background, I want all my elements here to be light. So I go and select my menu, I go on style and I make sure that the text here is on light. Okay. And I also make sure that the interactions here are light colors. In this case, I will just leave my light accent number two color. Look, it works pretty good. My button here is already good because it's um, in a light color and I should also change my logo here. So I will go here and add an image. Okay. We'll place it here. And in this case, this image will be my light logo. Okay. Get rid of the other one. I will just make sure that my image into the style tab will be a specific width, let's say 150 pixels. And here, keep in mind that if you want to link this image to your homepage, you need to go on link, you need to click on custom URL, and you need to assign a dynamic tag as a site URL. In this way, your logo will link to your homepage correctly and then I will publish my header. In this case, I need to show to, to choose in which pages I want to add this header. So we'll add a condition. And since I do not want uh, the whole website to use a transparent header in my case, I want to apply it so only to specific pages. You can apply it, for example, only to your homepage or to specific pages where you are using a particular design. In my case, or of course, if you want to apply the transparent header to the whole website, you just need to go like this and you apply it to the whole website. Just make sure that the other default header will be not applied to the whole website, of course. Otherwise, there will be a problem in, uh, you see here, you will already have a default header which is uh, applied to the whole website. In my case, let's go to singular, let's go to pages, and I will choose a specific page where I want to use this kind of design, which is going to be the uh, home page version two. Okay, there it is. Save and close. Now, when I go and visit my home page version two, let's go and check it out here. I go on pages, home page version two. 
I see that my header is correctly being applied, but it, it is not uh, yet transparent, of course. To make it transparent, I can go and open the Elementor editor on this page without having to go directly to the header, but before clicking here, I just click on Edit with Elementor so that I'm sure that I will edit my header also with a preview of my page so that I can see it. I go now and edit my header, okay. And I make sure that I just remove the background here. So I go to the Style tab and I remove my background. Perfect. And then I go to the content or I can either go to the content or to the header itself. Yes, I can just stay here into my header. I can go to the Advanced tab. I unlink the values of my margin and then I go and select bottom and I go on minus 80. Generally speaking, minus 80 is working. And uh, of course here you should check which is the correct uh, minus margin that you need to uh, assign in order to your uh, content to be overlapped like this and to make your header transparent. You see here, so in my case, 80 pixels is working fine. I just go and make a quick test, but I think that 80 pixels is perfect. I can go now and assure that my header will have a Z index, which is superior of the content of the page. You see here that, for example, my logo and my button has disappeared because they have a different Z, in, uh, a Z index, which is not too high. So I need to go here in my header Z index and I apply at least nine. If it doesn't work, you can go 99 or 999 and, sh and see which works well for you. In my case, nine works well. I can go and publish my page now and have a quick preview. And I have created a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful transparent header. Look, let's see it together. Wow, <laughs> this looks beautiful. I see that there is still a little white line at the top. This means that I need to uh, increase the, the margin, the negative margin to the top. Let's wait to that Elementor. Okay, perfect here. So you see, I just can increase it for, for of one pixel and I reload the page here and now it works fine. Perfect. There is no more little white bar and wow, this is already beautiful, you see? And this is a, the fastest way that you can um, apply if you want to create a transparent header. Now, the second part of the video, I'll show you how to make it, how to make it also sticky and how to add a, a background color when we scroll down, you see here? So when we are scrolling down, we need this header to be a different color because otherwise we won't be able to see the content correctly. Okay, let's see how to do so. To make it sticky, it's very easy because we can go and open here our uh, header. In my case, I will just call it header version two, okay? And I will make it sticky by going to the advanced tab, scrolling down here, motion effects, and I go to sticky, top, and uh, yes, already it, it is already sticky, you see here. But the problem is that uh, if I leave it like this and I go and visit my website, I will see that I cannot read very well the content. So I need a background color to be applied here to my menu. And to do so, I will just need to add some custom CSS. It is very easy, so don't worry. I'm going to show you step by step how to do so. And um, yes, let's do it. We need to go to the site settings now. We open up the CSS, custom CSS here. We scroll and we scroll. <laughs> and you should copy this code here into your custom CSS. Okay, you see it? Sticky effect settings. I will leave it this code for you in the in the comments in the comment in the sorry in the description box down below, and you will be able here to use this code to apply a custom background to your sticky header when you scroll down. So, let's go and see how this works. This is the class that we need to assign to our menu, and this is the color that is going to be applied automatically to the menu when we scroll. So, in this case, you copy and paste this code to your custom CSS, and once you did so. Once you've done so, you save changes, go back here. We close here and we go back to our page. We need to here to edit again our header and we need to assign that specific class, which is sticky header. So we go to the, oh, we are here to the header, of course, to the advanced tab. We scroll and add a class, which is sticky menu. And as you can see here, now we have automatically applied for us our secondary, our primary accent color as a background. If you want to change that color, you can do it in the code. I will show you in a moment how you can do so. But here the problem, the main problem is that we can see this uh, color being applied even if we are not scrolling. So this is a problem because we want our header to stay transparent. So we go and select our header, we go to the advanced tab, we scroll down here to the motion effects and we make sure to use the effects offset. This is very important. So we put it to 100 and then we publish when we know, now go and visit the page and we re reload it. When we scroll down, 
we see that the color is being correctly applied, you see? Beautiful. Only when we are scrolling, because since we said to the Elementor settings here that we want the effects to be applied only after 100 pixels of scroll, you see here when we scroll down and we reach 100 pixels of scroll, the color is being applied. Beautiful. It looks very nice. If you want to change the color, you just need to go back to your CSS settings. You scroll down to your custom CSS and you can change this color here using your own color. For example, here, if I choose to use my secondary color, I can do like this. I can do secondary like this and I save changes. And when I reload my page here, when I scroll down, it will be my secondary color to be applied to the whole menu. Of course, in this case, it is not very optimized for the secondary color, but I can also go and tweak around stuff until I find the exact color that I want. If I want, I can also go and remove this and use a simple, a simple color like black. You go here, save changes, we reload here, and we see that we have our black color appearing like this. Works fine, it is perfect, and it's gorgeous. Hey, did you like this video? Did you manage to create your transparent sticky header with Elementor? I hope so. And if this is the case, please comment down below and tell me where are you watching this video from. And if you want to help me and support my channel, you can give me a thumbs up, you can subscribe, and you can comment down below. These are two videos that you can watch if you want to learn more about Elementor. I will leave you here my most recent tutorial about Elementor, which is pretty good. And I hope that it can be useful for you. I wish you all the best with your WordPress projects and see you maybe in one of my next videos. Ciao!